So this is my Season 11 updated matchup tier list for Katarina. Let's see what changes there will be in the future. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be ranking AP Katarina matchups. As you guys don't, I already have another video on my channel, but it was mainly for AD Katarina. And as you've, plenty of you guys know, AD Katarina is not as viable anymore. So this video, I'll be ranking, in my opinion, when I play AP or hybrid Katarina, how hard each matchup is. So starting off with Aatrox. Firstly, I think Aatrox is not as played as anymore as before, but I would say this matchup is relatively more Katarina favored just because of how you can easily dodge out his Qs, especially with your R healing reduction, you should be able to easily kill him. Next, you have Ari. I think Ari is more not cat favored, but it's playable. Because of her insane mobility, it's hard to get on top of her and burst her, and because she has a charm. Next, Akali. I think this is really not cat favored, but playable. Akali just has a lot of damage, and especially if you don't have any CC to shut her down, it's gonna be really hard to pull off ganks and 1v1s all in. Next, you have Anivia. I think this one is relatively not cat favored, but it's playable. Um, as I said before, Anivia is just one of those champions where it's really hard to get on top of her just because of how her CC champion works. And even if you get on top of her, she has like a second life, especially in like team fights, it's gonna be really annoying. Next you have Annie. I think this one is not cat favorite, but playable. After you hit six, you're relatively like going to get one shot if you're like below 80% HP. Usually you wanna capitalize on how Annie has low armor in the early game. Next you have Aurelian Soul. I think this one is skill matchup. I haven't seen a lot of Aurelian Souls, but in my opinion, um, if he doesn't get his roams off, you should be able to kill him in lane. And he's pretty much gonna fall behind if you do that. Next you have Azir. I think this matchup is easy. I think if you get six with one item, you should be able to 1v1 him with ease. Next you have Cassiopeia. I think this matchup is not a cat favorite, but it's playable. Um, if you dodge her R, she's pretty much dead. You just have to be able to go in and one shot her. And now we have Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is a really tanky champion, but I've noticed that if you go Bork, it really helps against him just because of his high amount of base HP and how he stacks off of HP. So I would recommend going Bork against him, but I would say this matchup is more easy sided. Next you have Corky. I think this matchup is skill sided. Corky can really poke you out early game. As long as you don't get poked out of lane, you will eventually beat him, especially with one or two items. Next we have Diana. Diana is, I think, not cat favorite, but playable. Many people have struggles in lower elo, but I find that if you tend to dodge her Q and try to bait out her W, you should be able to win your all-ins. Next you have Echo. I think this is not cat favorite, but playable. Echo is one of those champions where it's just a safe champion to play he has like a cc shield and he has like a second life so all inning echo can be hard with especially with his r and with a good echo they can time their ganks together and your all ins would be like counter gank Fura, I think Fura mid has not been played, but if I were to say, it would probably be skill. Um, Fura, with your greenness from your R, it should be pretty easy to 1v1 Fura if you get your items. Next, you have Fizz. I think this is the first matchup that's going to be in very hard. Fizz is one of those champions where I personally perma ban Fizz. If you get hit by his R and don't have Zonias, you're pretty much dead unless you build full MR but then you have no damage. Next, you have Galio. I actually think this matchup is skill, and the reason why I think say that is because his cooldowns early game is really long, like at least like 15 seconds. So if he uses his like W or E cooldowns, you should be able to jump on him and all in him, especially if he's overextended. Next you have Garen. I think this is more not cat favorite, but playable. Could be in the very hard tier too, but Garen mid doesn't usually do too much to Katarina because he doesn't really follow ganks often. And like if you bring like TP Ignite, you should be able to win this matchup. Irelia, I think this matchup is skill. A good Irelia player can easily beat a Katarina player, but as long as you don't fall behind and as long as you dodge your E, you should be able to all in her and especially if she's not at five stacks like her champ is really weak next you have jace i think this is not cat favorite but playable jace early game is really annoying especially with his poke that can like easily burst you down it's just a really annoying matchup you usually don't win what all ends unless you're like fed i would suggest roaming a lot and getting your lead from other lanes next you have karma i think this is more of a skill matchup karma doesn't really threaten katarina as much as other champions you do have your healing reduction which is really nice especially against moonstone so in this meta you should be able to beat karma next you have Kartis. i think Kartis smith is just terrible against katarina he has no CC. Um, if you just jump on him, you should pretty much be dead. Next, you have Kasten. I think this is not Katarina favored, but playable. Kasten, you have to win early game. If you don't win early game, you're gonna fall behind. That's just how it's gonna go. If this guy gets a lead, it's gonna be really hard to come back unless you go full AD and your team is just like piss smurfing. Katarina versus Katarina, obviously skill, unless you're against me. Kale in this matchup, I would say is not. I would say it's skill. You will beat Kill early game, but. When she hits 6, she gets really annoying. She's really like useless in like 2v2 skirmishes and objective play before 6, so you should be able to help your jungler out and get like a lead from there. Cannon, I would say this is not Kaffir, but playable. Cannon R really hurts Katarina because her, his stun and like Zonia's 
it's just a really annoying champion to play against. Usually if you're against Kennen, you would probably want to like capitalize on how he's like not as strong pre-6. Clad, I think this matchup is very hard. You won't be able to do anything in this lane other than roam. Clad just beats Kyrian in every like sort of way. His passive, especially the Skarl, his thing that he rides is really annoying since if you get his HP bar down to half, he's just gonna like queue away from you. LeBlanc, I would say this matchup is actually not cat fair but it's playable the bomb is one of those champions where if you're not good at her you're not going to be able to play her but if you're good at her she's going to be a little harder to deal with especially the early game i'd recommend going resolve if you're playing against her next you have lissandra lissandra i would say is not cat fair but playable lissandra r really shuts kyrena down in team fights so you would have to build a qss if you want to win this matchup and especially the her jungle ganks if she roots you and like presses r on you you're going to die lucian i would say this matchup is actually very hard you do outscale though like you'll be so much more useful than lucian in team fights but in lane if you're playing solo queue and you don't have a jungler lucian is actually a lot harder next you have lux this matchup should be easy i'll probably move it down to free you can literally just jump on her and like as long as you dodge her q don't get poked out early game from her e you should be able to win this matchup next we have malphite malphite is not cat favorite but playable his tankiness is just makes it really hard for him to die early game and especially after he hits 6 you can just shut down your champion with an R especially with a jungle gank so this matchup is kind of hard next you have Malzahar I would say this matchup is actually not cat favorite but playable you have to beat Malzahar in the early game if he gets past like 11 and you're like tied he's actually an advantage you have to beat him early game otherwise you will not win the game or at least your lane next you have Morgana I would say this matchup is probably skill I haven't seen many Morgana mids but relatively if you dodge Q you should be able to beat her at all times next you have Nico. I would say this matchup is skill I have personally haven't played against too many Nikos recently but I noticed that her champ isn't the best especially if she like uses her E she's pretty much useless if she misses her E so you should be able to capitalize on that pre-6 next you have Nautilus I think Nautilus is not cat favorite but playable early game is really strong especially if he gets that fear on you you're going to take like so much damage if he gets in the auto attacks too but i found that Nautilus is not good at skirmishes even though his champion is really nice but he can easily get bursted down from like you and like another teammate next we have oriana i'd say this matchup is more easy sided if you as long as you don't get poked out against oriana you should be able to all in her at any times so even if she uses her r you still have the damage to like get on top of her after she uses her r next we have pantheon i think this matchup is not cat favorite but playable it used to be very hard, but with the recent nerfs to Pantheon and like how his play rate has dropped down, I think it's a, it's a little more playable than before. It's definitely still hard, but with good jungle coordination, you should be able to easily get him down since he's not as mobile as other champions. Next, you have Kiana. I think this is not cat favorite oh, and actually no i'll put it as skill getting ganks on her is really annoying a good kiana will probably be a good katarina but you just have to play a little more safe against kiana and it's basically whoever like does the better roaming job wins next you have renekton i think this matchup is not cat favorite but playable renekton will definitely beat you early game but once again renekton is not that mobile other than his one e so he'll probably be overextended most of the time because he's just going to have more prowl than you so if you get a good jungle gank off you should be able to get it next you have riven i personally haven't seen a lot of room in mids but it's similar to renekton but i think it's gonna be i guess more not cat favorite because her full combo really destroys you especially her w and her shielding is really annoying how she can cancel your r and deny your poke so i would say similar to renekton she's kind of more mobile but if you get a jungle gank off especially if she plays so far up she should be dead next you have rumble this is also not a cat favorite but playable i would say usually i haven't seen a lot of rumbles recently but definitely like level one two you're not going to kill a rumble because just because of his q like flamethrower there's like half your hp bar if you tank it all and he has a free shield movement speed which is just so annoying to get on top of him next you have rise i would say this is more easy sided for katarina rise is not as as meta as before and mostly control mages are just weak against katarina so if you basically get on top of her eyes and he doesn't have his phase real shot you should be able to just one shot him after you get some items definitely early game he's gonna he's very mana hungry so you just have to keep that in mind next you have set i think this is more set favored not katarina favored um the one thing about set is you should always save your e for his w because that i find really helps and uh, to win those skirmishes and 1v1s you usually won't be killing set in a 1v1 unless he's like trolling but you can definitely make sh super short trades like qe and this e and l next you have swain i would say this is more of an easy matchup swain doesn't really do that much to katarina especially if he doesn't have his zonias you should be able to all in him like at any time the stage as he's a little 
bit overextended. Silas, I would say this matchup is more skill. Silas, a good Silas player, would probably beat Katarina, but you do have your R healing reduction, which like really destroys him. And him stealing your R is not as effective as like other champions because your R will always up damage his R unless he's like super ahead, at least at level six. Next, we have Syndra. I'd say this matchup is more easy. You can easily dodge your Qs with like your E, and as long as you E over her when she tries to E you or dodge her E with like W, she's pretty much dead if you just get on top of her. I recommend bringing Flash in this matchup so like you can easily just jump on her. Same with Talia, very similar. If her she misses her W, she's pretty much dead. So yeah, Flash would be nice against these two champions. Talon, I would say, is actually more skill. I actually think Talon versus Katarina's skill matchup in lane, especially. If you can dodge his two Ws, you should be able to actually beat him. So once he uses his W and he doesn't use it and he walks up, you should be able to just EWQ onto him and just all in him. TF, I would say, is skill as well. Um, haven't seen a lot of TFs recently, but usually you, if you can proc his bone plating, if he takes resolve or if he takes like phase rush, if you can bait that out and he uses his gold card or like his pick a card, you should be able to just all in him. Vagar, I would say, is actually a free matchup. His cage, you can easily E over it. He has basically no escape after he uses his cage. So if you can just E over his cage or like flash out of his cage, he's pretty much dead. Velkaz, I would say, is actually more easy sided, more carrying sided. Many people still have struggles with Velkaz, but if he R's you, if he lands his W, then I guess you would die. But like him landing your W when you have your E is like really, really hard. Victor, I would say, is actually a skill matchup. Victor is really annoying with his movement speed and poke early game. But when I face against Victor, so I would say it's more of a 50 50 matchup. Vladimir, I would say, is more of a not cat favorite, but it's playable. It's just really annoying after six. Like when you jump on him, it's just he just does like so much HP with all of his healing. Even though you have healing induction, he has his pool, which negates your Q if you throw it at him and your R. But other than that, early game, you should be able to beat Vladimir. Zera, I would say, is an easy matchup. If he misses his E, you pretty much get on top of him and he just dies. That's it. <laughs> it's like easier than these champions. Yasa, I would say, is I would say it's a skill maybe on the more not cat favorite but a good yasuo will probably be the good katarina but you can definitely capitalize on a lot of yasuo mistakes and like by him overstepping and especially like in the early game like level one, two to three yone i would say is actually easier matchup than yasuo but many people have it not cat favorite but i would say it's actually more of a skill matchup because yone is not as mobile as yasuo other than his r but pre-6 if you can get like skirmishes with him and get on top of him he with a jungler you should be able to just burst him down zed i would say is not cat favorite but playable after you get your zonias i would just sit on like a seekers or cloth armor you should be able to actually win this matchup pretty fairly easily next year ziggs i'd say this is more of a easy matchup ziggs is not that it's not that good against cat because he only has his w to escape if you can just get on top of him after he uses his w then he's pretty much dead he's very squishy too zillian i'd say this is more of a easy matchup he's just really annoying with his r but definitely early game you should be able to just destroy him and like if he doesn't have any teammates around him then like he's pretty much useless zoe i would say is a skill matchup if you can just dodge her bubble, you should be able to just get on top of her. The only annoying part is like her stealing summoner spells and like getting summoner RNG from minions, but it doesn't seem to happen too often. Most of the games, at least, I remember I had one game where Zoe like really got like flash and ignite and like my minions like every wave. It was just so annoying. Next, you have Brand. I would say this is more of an easy matchup. Brand mid, very vulnerable to ganks, especially. And like pre six, if you just get on top of him, he should be dead if he dodges E, of course, like his stun. Next, we have Nunu. I think this matchup is relatively easy. Nunu mid is not that good anymore. I would say you can easily E over his snowball to like get on top of him. With your R healing reduction, just denies his healing from Q, so he's pretty much a useless champion. Next, you have Pike. I would say this is more of a skill matchup. Pike mid, similar to Katarina, but it just roams more and farms less. If he doesn't get his roams off and doesn't get his ult, then he's just not going to be able to play. You're just going to be ahead of him. And finally, we have Tristana. I would say this is a very hard matchup. I hate this matchup personally. This matchup is almost impossible to win. It's probably as bad as Fizz. It's even worse than Lucian because her knockback she has cc she actually has like something to stop you and her bomb does so much damage early game and just throughout the game if you get like any of these matchups your chances of winning lane is really really slim unless like maybe the lucian i can see the other three matchups it's going to be pretty hard and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs>